Uh, the majority of the patient knows quite a lot about pacemakers, mostly from the internet. But uh, as an electrophysiologist who implanted more than several thousand devices, I know that there is a detailed information that's necessary uh, to tell the patient before the implantation why the implantable device is important. There are several types of uh, cardiac implantable electrical devices like normal pacemakers against uh, slow pulse. There are more complicated devices just to protect the life in uh, malignant uh, heart rhythm disturbances. So in that case we should implant a bigger device which is called implantable cardioverter defibrillators. And then even more complex devices for heart failure and these are the so-called cardiac recyclization therapy. So of course we have to explain how this device is actually working. And uh, after the implantation we can give them a booklet and even further important information could be actually provided uh, by the internet. So that's our everyday uh, practice in case of patients. It's very important that the patient got an implantable devices and this device needs a follow-up, a regular follow-up by cardiologist. Why is it important? Because the device consists of two uh, major components. One is actually the device itself, it's a pulse generator and included battery. And the others are the wires and leads. And normally, these devices actually last probably five to 15 years, depending very much on the complexity of the device and the need for pacing and defibrillation uh, for the patient. So at least six months follow up. We do have other possibility just to follow up our patient. We have remote control, remote monitoring uh, for that uh, patient, which is very much uh, important. And of course, just before implanting device, it's also important to know what about the potential complication? What about the complication of the implantation? The major uh, risk is actually always infection. How can we avoid infection? What about um, other potential complications which can uh, develop during the follow-up? Lead complication, which is the most common. How can we actually control it during the regular follow-up? These are extremely important to know. So the major important message, if you have an implanted devices, you should be controlled by cardiologists on a regular basis.